What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the specs of the new Google Nexus 7 or Google Nexus 7 second generation, if you wanna call it, to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. Now, I have had quite a few requests for this video and I currently do own the first Google Nexus 7 as well as the Galaxy Note 8.0, which I've currently got all my notes on here. And both of these are very, very good tablets and also have been quite popular. And now that the new Google Nexus 7 7 is here. How does it compare to the uh, Galaxy Note 8.0? Well, uh, do hit that thumbs up button and let's find out in this head-to-head -head spec comparison. So let's start off initially with the dimensions and the sizes of these devices. The Google uh, Nexus 7, the new Google Nexus 7, is quite a bit smaller to the uh, Note 8.0. You're looking at roughly about 11 millimeters in height and 22 millimeters in width, so quite a bit smaller there. It is, however, 0.7 millimeters thicker, so only a tad thicker, but generally speaking a, a very compact device here it's also quite a bit lighter almost 50 grams lighter than the note 8.0 so that's quite impressive to see here as well now the reason why the note 8.0 is larger is because as the name suggests it's an 8 inch screen that you're getting on here whereas the Google Nexus 7 has a 70 inch screen so you do have a larger screen on the note 8.0 so you've got a bit more real estate there now in terms of resolution the Galaxy Note 8.0 has a decent resolution 12 1280 by 800 pixels so quite a nice resolution here 189 ppi so pixel density is quite nice here as well but however even though that is nice the new google nexus 7 absolutely takes it to a new level you've got 1920 by 1200 pixels resolution on here and that's 323 ppi that's the highest ppi of any tablet out there right now it even smashes the ipads Retina display, which is 264 PPI. So you're gonna get a, a very, very nice, sharp and crisp display here on the uh, Google uh, Nexus 7. Now moving on to what's inside these devices, the internals. In terms of the processor, the Note 8.0 has a quad-core 1.6 gigahertz processor, the Exynos 4412, whereas the new Google Nexus 7 has a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core processor, Snapdragon S4 Pro. They've got different GPUs as well. You've got the Adreno 320, on the new Google Nexus 7 and you've got the Mali 400 MP on the Galaxy Note 8.0. In terms of the processors, the Galaxy Note 8.0 does have a high clock speed, but we'll have to see them side by side and including benchmarks because they are different processors here. Now in terms of RAM, both of these have two gigabytes of RAM, which is great to see here, great for multitasking and things. And uh, moving on to the storage options. So you've got the 16 and 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi only versions on both of these devices as as well as 32 gigabyte Wi-Fi and data versions. However, one thing to note here is that the Note 8.0 does have expandable storage, so you are gonna be able to expand that storage by up to 64 gigabytes with a micro SD card. The new Google Nexus 7, as the previous Google Nexus 7, does not offer this, so you do not have expandable memory on here. So if you are somebody, you know, who likes to have a lot of media on their device, then, you know, you are gonna be stuck with the storage option that you have on the Google Nexus 7, so it might be worth going for the larger version. The cameras are pretty similar here on both of these devices. You've got rear-facing cameras on both here, 1080p and 5 megapixels on the rear-facing cameras. The front-facing cameras, 1.2 megapixels versus 1.3 megapixels, are both capable of filming 720p HD. So pretty similar, no huge differences here. Now in terms of the operating systems, both of these have a Jelly Bean. However, the Google Nexus 7 has the latest version of Jelly Bean, which is 4.3, and it comes out of the box with the latest version of Jelly Bean. And it's not got any skins on there. It is uh, directly from Google and things like updates and things are gonna come straight from Google themselves. So that's really good to see. With the uh, Note 8.0, you've got Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 and that's got the TouchWiz UI, Samsung's TouchWiz UI on top of that. So now it really depends what you like. You know, some of the features are quite useful. Multi-window is one example on uh, the Note 8.0. So it really depends on what you wanna go for, but you know, the Google Nexus 7 does 
had the advantage of stock Android experience and getting those updates straight away. Now, in terms of the batteries, the Note 8.0 has a 4,600 milliamp battery, whereas the Nexus 7 has a 3,950 milliamp battery. So you've got a higher milliamp per hour battery on the Note 8.0, but we'll have to see these in terms of performance. They're both saying roughly about 10 hours of usage from these devices. Now, touching slightly on some of the additional features that the Google Nexus 7 offers, you've got slim port HDMI support. So you're gonna be able to connect the device via slim port HDMI to your TV and see what's on the tablet on the TV as well. So that's quite useful. You don't have that on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8.0. You've also got wireless charging on the Google Nexus 7, something which you don't have on the Note 8.0. So that's another advantage here. NFC is another thing that you've got on the Google Nexus 7, which you don't have on the Note 8.0. So a few advantages here on the Google Nexus 7. Now touching on some of the advantages that the Note 8.0 has over the Nexus 7, you've got the S Pen. Now this is quite unique. You don't have this on many of the tablets out there. So for things like signatures and you know making quick notes and things, that's gonna be really useful here. You can also hover over the device and you know get some previews and things as well. You've also got an IR blaster on the Note 8.0, so you're gonna be able to control your TV and things. That's also not available on the Google Nexus 7. So finally, finishing off with price, the Note 8.0 here in the UK for the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi only base version, you're looking at roughly about 340 pounds here in the UK or 380 dollars in the US. So quite a pricey tablet there for this form factor. Now comparing that to the Google Nexus 7, the new Google Nexus 7, you're looking at 230 dollars in the US or 200 pounds to pre-order here in the UK with a release date in US for 30th of July and others to follow in the coming weeks. Now I have had a look around and you're looking at roughly about September in the UK, which is a big, big disappointment for me personally. I would have liked to have had it at the same time as the US. So Google really, really disappointed with you here. Really would have hoped to have had it at the same time as everybody else in the US. So those are the key differences between these two devices. The new Google Nexus 7 offering some serious specs, including that very, very high resolution screen, 323 PPI, and it's also at a very low price as well. And on the other hand, you've got the Note 8.0, which has a slightly larger screen, expandable storage, as well as the S Pen feature as well, which is quite unique. So, you know, it really depends on what you prefer more. I would like to see the Note 8.0's price come down a little bit. Now you've got the competition from the new Google Nexus 7. I would expect it to come down slightly as well. But what do you think? Which tablet would you go for? Would you go for the Nexus 7 or would you go for the Note 8.0? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. If I do get it in, then we will be getting a hands-on comparison and review with the Note 8.0 and the Google Nexus 7. So do stay tuned for that and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, please, please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And why not subscribe to the channel? I've got plenty more videos coming up on here, including lots of giveaways. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.